Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes back with another one, guys. So it don't make sense. Somebody make it make sense. It just don't make sense. We all know it. We all frustrated. I was wrong, especially on today that I had a phone call. That's got to be the most disrespectful thing you could do. Don't call me while I'm making the video. We got to keep it rolling. But anyways, guys, we already know it, guys. It don't make sense. It's just not adding up. It's not adding up at all. How do we own the company? This is our company. We own it, but we ain't got no type of, uh, we ain't got no type of say so. That's exactly what they saying to us. We own majority of this company, which we is in control. We could go to meetings. We could tell them what sh they should do to help benefit the business, to help benefit the shareholders. We got say so in the company. We shareholders, and we own ninety percent. Us as retail, we own this company literally. We took this company from $163 million near bankruptcy in 2020, 2021, early prior to pandemic. And now they sitting on $1.8 billion in cash that they could utilize and help, uh, you know, grow the business, come up with some different technique to get them out of the situation that they got in and to retwist the whole thing, do a whole 360 and put everybody in a better situation. Their shareholders, their sales, and also that could benefit the squeeze guys because that will make the play even more juicy. That will give people a two for one deal. That will give them a deal of a lifetime. Oh, I got the opportunity for a squeeze play. And even if the squeeze play, however, they want to continue to, to bull jives, play games, play games around with the squeeze, I still got my opportunity to make my money on the back end from the the logistics, the, the fundamental aspects of AMC catching up to be, you know, a fair a value in the near future because they had their hands on what? What can we, what? What, 10X? 10X the amount of money they had prior? Imagine me. I'm, I put myself, I just kept trying to put myself in business people's shoes that's on those type of levels. Imagine me having 10X of the amount of money that I got. You get what I'm saying? So anybody 10 minutes, or imagine you having 10 minutes of the money that you got, but you gotta be knowledgeable and have experience to know how to flip this money though. Just can't give anybody 10 nicks and we all gonna, gonna be millionaires. We all gonna make it. Nah, you can get everybody in the world the same amount of money, but all the money in the world gonna end up. Everybody in the world can be millionaires tomorrow. But by the end of the year, a lot of people gonna have different time frames. Some gonna blow it in a week, some a month, some a couple months. By the, by the end of that year, all the millionaires that's already millionaires and billionaires I have the money right back in their pockets because you're not smart, you're not educated, you don't know how to maneuver your money, you don't know how to, you don't know how to, you know, get get rid of banks. Stop putting your money in the savings account. Stop putting your money in the shoebox. Stop buying things that's not appreciating in value, but you still can flaw, still can look good, but buy the right things. You feel me? So you're not. You know, people don't be really educated on money. And I'm not speaking as if I'm the, the goat of all things, but I'm far ahead of, you know, my age bracket. I'm still learning. I'm trying to get to the big dogs, to the big dog levels. So anyways, my thing is, this thing is just, the, the situation that we is in right now, it's just all, you know, it all just too good to be, it's too, too surreal. AMC has the best earnings in two years, and we still dipping, pulling back, despite all that with the retail investors on majority of the flow. But we already know exactly why, why this is happening. We know what's going on. We know all that. We just getting it out, getting it out there and letting the, you know, we know 30 short sellers is under investigation by the DOJ. We know all this stuff, but what is they doing about it though? What is they doing? What is they actually doing? No update shit, no nothing. Silence, quiet. They worried about Elon Musk and what his brother doing saying they trying to do insider trading of course they doing insider trading this nigga this dude owned the company he owned the company of course he know when his when the stock is about to drop of course he know when it's about to go up probably not every time but he know that's just like with me i know when uh tesla is about to drop i know when this is about to go up i don't know every single time i'm gonna be right every single time but i'm gonna be right more times than not and whenever i'm putting my money on the line for the situation and with that being said imagine elon musk or the owner of a company he already he probably well aware of how the stock market works and operates did his homework was already setting up on it he's a very smart man pretty sure he'll master a jack of a lot of different trades and not just that and not just cars and stuff he know a lot of different things so he know the market you know how the market works and with him being a 
in the position that he in, he already got the upper hand. Imagine me knowing what I know on top of being an owner of a certain company. I'm definitely gonna know when my stock is about to drop. You get what I'm saying? Or if I ain't gonna know exactly, you ain't gonna exactly know like, oh, so you know, no, but you gonna have a, if you got an 80% chance now without being an owner of the company, that I'm almost know whenever it's about to drop and uh, go up and drop, then owning the company, I'm pretty sure his chance is now 90%. So you already know guys, like I say though, we gonna eventually prevail and come out at the top of this thing because they never seen nothing like this. This is like a whirlwind. It's hitting them all at one time. They don't know what to do. Uppercut to the left, uppercut to the right. You know, kick to the left, kick to the right. You know, they don't know what to do. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. It hit them too hard. It came too quick. That's why they trying to switch up the whole system. They trying to switch up the whole algorithm of the markets. They trying to do a whole bunch of different funny kind of business. They going to make it harder for people to even get involved in the market and on these platforms. It's going to get wild. It's going to get crazy. But that's why we got to stay firm. We got to stay solid. And we got to, you know, we got to continue to do what we're doing, guys, because we got time. As long as we don't do nothing, we chill. People should have ran their bag back up, doing little side hustles. It's been a year now. Run that money up. Don't just be focusing on this all the time. Run that bag up. Get your money up doing other things. It's a million things to do. Don't just focus on AMC making you a millionaire. Because like I say, you already know if the if the if the plan, if the plan don't work, never change the goal. You can adjust the plan, but never change the end goal. So you know, don't just count on one thing to make you millions of dollars. Millionaire, go ahead and be working on your plan B and your